Project Veritas says O'Keefe caused serious and significant damage to the organization, stating in the lawsuit that being known as the founder does not entitle him, O'Keefe, to, quote, run amok and put his own interests ahead of the organization. We now go to Jess Weber with his thoughts on this, host of Weber's Way. Thanks so much for being with us today, Jess. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me. This is another story that is going to either they're going to make uh, uh, they're going to mark him. They are going to destroy his life with this lawsuit because, you know, Project Veritas is, you know, is a sinking ship right now. So I think they're just trying to save face, trying to get as much money they can get from James from this lawsuit. Um, I think that's where it could possibly go um, after reading this whole lawsuit, because he did kind of screw himself uh, by signing this agreement, saying that he wouldn't do any of this. But mm -hmm. he, I guess he was. So it's interesting. It is interesting. It's interesting that Project Veritas is trying to say he was technically still employed uh, by them. Um, and the only reason for his absence was because of a temporary suspension while Project Veritas did the investigation into his spending. Uh, but they're saying he's in breach of the contract since he started his own media group, but they weren't paying him at all during this time. Isn't that a little sketchy? It is. I mean, I mean, what do you, what is a guy supposed to do? You're supposed to just sit there and just, right. you know, I don't know, not pay your rent, not pay your bills. Uh, you got to do something. Exactly. And the best thing that he was good at was exposing companies. So, right. I mean, we obviously know why he was ousted, but, uh, you know, I, I, listen, I don't care what he was doing at his job. I don't care if he was sending people to do his laundry or taking private flights, whatever. He's exposing the biggest uh, corruption in America. So who cares <laughs> what he's doing, uh, spending money, whatever. Didn't he found, didn't he fund, found the uh, Project Veritas? That's what I don't understand. It's like, what happened there? Where, where was the disconnect of him being the owner or whatever? And then they brought him down and then they can oust him? Like, right. what happened? What I kind know, of they company? They just totally turned on him, and it's it's just so wrong, I think. I mean, he's literally doing the Lord's work, and this is how he's repaid. It's just ridiculous. I mean, as the founder of Weber's Way, the great truth-telling media organization that you are, how would you feel if you were put in this position? Uh, I'd be trade. I, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, all the employees I have here, if one of them tried to oust me uh, and kick me out, uh, it would be very confusing. So I don't know, like, I mean, obviously these board members are controlling Project Veritas. You know, there's a lot of money going on here. Um, I just know, I just don't understand how he lost control and, or how did he let the Trojan horse in his company? I mean, I do remember he hired someone from CNN, an ex -pro uh, producer of CNN. So we all thought that was the Trojan horse. Um, I don't know whatever happened with that. I don't know if he was still on the board or in the company, but he kind of did it to himself. Yeah, yeah. I think the bottom line is it definitely seems to me as though Project Veritas is doing all they can to ultimately stop Oki from conducting his great undercover journalism, which is just insane, seeing as he literally made Project Veritas what they are, and uh, now they're just turning on him like this. I think it's crazy. Um, yeah, they since we're talking about censoring and silencing and screwing people over, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted yesterday that more January 6th footage will be released by McCarthy, supposedly to a third outlet. So Jess, I wanna know, why the delay? What are they trying to hide? And I know we talked about it last week, but why not give all outlets access to the footage? Because they, uh, you know, obviously they're going to tell this third outlet, whoever they are, they're like, hey, listen, here's certain footage and this is the narrative that you need to put out. You know, the thing, that, which is really strange that you showed me this tweet yesterday on my website, I have uh, on Webersway.com, I have uh, a lot of footage from January 6th that uh, I was using or saving for another day for licensing purposes and stuff like that. Somebody was on my site from Washington, D.C., and the only a way to get access to my page is through a password, and nobody has this password. So I'm wondering if, I don't know, I, I don't even know if I should have said that, but I'm just saying it's kind of strange what's going on with that coming out. I don't know if they <laughs> hacked my website and figured something out that I have some extra footage, but it was very strange. But um, where this is all going, we'll see. I mean, obviously, it, it helped Jake. Um, with the footage that came out last time with Tucker, but we'll see where this one goes. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. 
Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.